Okay, for this next set of problems, we're going to use a different data set. So let's walk through the process of downloading this data set. First, we're going to close all of these out. Okay, now come back to my educator, and we're in this section right here, distinct top and in. These are the last three techniques we're going to learn, but we're going to use a different data set to do it. So scroll down here. You might, rem you might remember this data set from uh, an earlier chapter. Uh, if you happen to do this implementing entity relationship diagrams, but if not, that's okay. So this is Twitter data about um, a product called Amazon Web Services, which you may be familiar with. It's a cloud-based uh, information systems platform. And in this data, we have a bunch of tweets, people who've tweeted about AWS and given their opinion about it. Um, and imagine that you're a, a product manager at AWS and you've scraped this data from the web uh, because you want to learn what people are saying and see what determines who's an influencer about uh, your product and uh, and who isn't. So we've scraped tweets that have information about the gender of the tweeter, whether or not what they tweeted was a reshare, the number of times that their tweet got retweeted, that's a likely outcome variable, or we call it a dependent variable, something we're interested in explaining. Why did people get retweeted a lot? Uh, we have their cloud score, which is a measure about the person, indicating how important they are online. So cloud has now been purchased by another company, but their their uh, their score basically was a representation of how often this person's tweets get retweeted, how much their Facebook posts get shared, uh, etc. Um, then we have sentiment, which has to do with the tone of the tweet. Is it positive or negative tone? Meaning are people saying, hey, I love AWS, or hey, I hate this, it's stupid. Uh, a negative score here means it's a negative tone, positive, positive tone. And then the location of the tweet, and then the tweet text itself. Uh, now, beware, this is real Twitter data that uh, we've scraped. Um, so I can't guarantee that the language is uh, clean, It's but it's, it's, it's real data. Anyway, go ahead and download this material. And we're going to go back to our uh, data.world workspace. And we want to add a new data set here. Data sources. Add data from anywhere. Upload from computer. Great. Twitter data in sheets. So this data is a bit different. Um, it's not as clean as what you're used to. And I wanted you to start with the gold star data so you could be uh, you could learn comfortably with very clean data. But this Twitter data is different in that I have a bunch of tweets in here that don't have associated data from about the person who tweeted it. I have people data about the Twitter users who don't have any associated tweets. So the implication is we're going to have to be aware of that when we do joins. So let's click on this data set and let's go ahead and create a new query right here. Actually, first, let's take, let me just show you what you're looking at here. Uh, why did this get called location two? It's because I have a location table and another data set. That's why. All right. Well, that's okay. No problem. Yours, you may not have the underscore two if you didn't um, upload the gold star data yourself uh, simply because it sees another data source. It didn't want to have two, um, two uh, of the same uh, table names. So anyway, uh, let's see. And actually, you know what? I think we can do eliminate that problem. Close out the data set. Let's create a project. We haven't done that before. This is something. Um, oh, I see. We also, I uploaded it to this gold star. Uh, data set. That's not what I want to do. Um, let's do this. I'm going to delete the Twitter data set out of there. Delete from data set. That's why it's associating with the gold star data. And let's go back to my profile there. And from this view, from our profile view, let's add a new data set here. So create new data set. We'll call this Twitter. Um, I'll go ahead and make this public in case any of you want to use mine. So you can also connect to this data set by using that URL right there. Create data set, add data, upload from computer. All right, so I'm going to leave what I just did in the video without editing it out because I want you to see when you use data world, the difference between adding data to an existing data set versus creating a new data set. Um, that is distinct from the other. So now this Twitter data is not associated with the uh, the uh, HR data set. So let me go back to my profile so you can see what I mean. So now I've got these two options for data sets, Gold Star HR, Twitter. We'll click on the Twitter one. 
and now we can uh, write queries based on this one. So give it a second. It's finishing its whole upload processing process here. As soon as that's done, there we go. Now we can come here and we can uh, create queries based on this. All right, so let's just show you what we've got. Now it's location without location underscore two because there's only one location table now. Uh, tweet, here's their, here's the day of the week that is tweeted on, hour of the day, day of the month, the language of the tweet, whether or not this tweet itself was a reshare, in addition to the overall retweet count that this particular, so this could be uh, right here, this true, this was a reshare of somebody else's tweet, but this reshare itself got retweeted five times. So uh, who knows if that's more or less than how many times the original tweet, tweet was retweeted. Uh, here's the number of likes the tweet got. I think, um, uh, yeah, I think this is another outcome variable, but I think I like retweet count more. Uh, anyway, here's the clout score. A higher number here means that the person who tweeted this is more important, uh, or at least gets a, uh, attention more online than someone who has a lower score. Here's a sentiment score. So zero means it's kind of neutral sounding, like here we go, we are hiring. Sentiment of a score two means that this tweet is probably somewhat positively worded. This is true Amazon Web Services. I think the word true is probably gives it a positive tone. Anyway, location ID, this is a foreign key that refers to the location table. So here is the location um, of when it, of, uh, of where the, the tweet originated from. So city, state, this is in a different country, and so state is recorded kind of like city. Some countries that don't have states, then state becomes the same as city. Oops, I'm trying to scroll through that list. Uh, anyway, there's a lot more than five just in that table. Then user, all we have for user, oh, so back here in the tweet table, we also have the user ID, which is a foreign key over to this user table. And all we have about the user is their gender. So it could be male, female, unknown. I think unisex, if they want to declare that, is also a gender on there too, also an option. All right, so that's our data. Um, now I'm going to leave it to you to go through and actually create some queries based on this data. So uh, to get started, come right here and you can say query file. There we go. And you get your data schema over here of all those fields across the three tables. Okay. Uh, have at it. Uh, good luck with these queries.